Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller apparently believes that a crime or crimes may have been committed by Donald Trump or Donald Trump Jr. or Jared Kushner or Michael Flynn or Paul Manafort or any and all of those people or other people working in and around the Trump campaign for president. And that is why, as the Wall Street Journal is reporting, the special prosecutor is now working with a grand jury to hear evidence about his investigation. That grand jury has subpoena power. The special prosecutor does not. The special prosecutor can ask a grand jury to issue subpoenas for documents that he would like to examine. The special prosecutor can ask a grand jury to issue subpoenas for witnesses to come in and testify to that grand jury under oath. It is the grand jury that technically wields those powers, but they always do so under the guidance of a prosecutor whose requests grand juries usually follow routinely. This grand jury is the single biggest threat ever faced by Donald Trump or anyone else named Trump or married to a Trump. When Jared Kushner is subpoenaed to testify to the grand jury, as he surely will be, he will be testifying under oath. When Donald Trump Jr. is subpoenaed to testify to the grand jury, he will be testifying under oath. And when Donald Trump becomes the second president of the United States to be subpoenaed to testify to a grand jury in an investigation targeting him, he will be forced to testify under oath. People are not themselves when they are subject to an intense criminal investigation and a grand jury. No one, no one is prepared for that. No one is used to it. Some people make the worst mistakes of their lives under that pressure. Otherwise, smart people can make the worst mistakes of their lives under that pressure. Not smart people are guaranteed to make mistakes under that pressure. President Bill Clinton, the first and only president to be forced to testify to a grand jury under oath, did the stupidest thing he's ever done in his life. He committed perjury testifying to that grand jury. He knows it was the stupidest thing he's ever done in his life, stupider even than the conduct that he was testifying about. And I'm sure he wishes he could have that moment back, but you don't get do-overs with grand juries. You have one chance to tell a grand jury the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And when you go into a grand jury with something to hide, you're probably going to make a mistake and it will probably be a big one and it will probably change the course of your life, the course of your presidency. Robert Mueller is going to give President Trump one chance to tell the truth to a grand jury. Donald Trump will have one chance to do the thing that he finds most difficult to do, tell the truth. The only president in history who lies about his inauguration crowd size and is caught publicly lying every single day of his presidency, that president is going to be given one chance by the best prosecutors in the country to tell the truth. Donald Trump has never had a stronger incentive to fire Robert Mueller than he does now. This is the strongest message yet that Robert Mueller is coming at Donald Trump or the Trump White House or the Trump campaign in a deadly serious criminal investigation in which he already suspects that crimes may have been committed. But Donald Trump does not have one ally in Washington who is prepared to help him in any way with Robert Mueller's criminal investigation. He may have some allies left on the congressional committees that are also running investigations, but today, Mitch McConnell's Republican United States Senate slammed the door on any possibility of President Trump firing Attorney General Jeff Sessions and replacing him with a recess appointment during the Senate's August recess. A recess appointment allows the president to install an attorney general without a confirmation hearing or a confirmation vote. And so today, when Mitch McConnell closed down Senate business and sent everyone home on what looks like the August recess, he technically left the Senate in what they call pro forma session, specifically so that no recess appointment can be made during the Senate's August recess, which is technically not a recess, thanks to the Republican majority leader who has slammed the door on the Republican president's possibility of installing a new attorney general through a recess appointment and then having that attorney general fire Robert Mueller and shut down that investigation and shut down that grand jury. Mitch McConnell made sure that that grand jury will live through the August recess and beyond.
Also in the Senate today, two different bipartisan bills were introduced with Democrat and Republican sponsors of each one that would protect Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller from any attempt to fire him. We have an indication tonight that Robert Mueller's grand jury is going to hear testimony from a possible group of witnesses that have never testified to a grand jury before. Vox is reporting that after President Trump fired FBI Director James Comey, quote, acting director of the FBI, Andrew McCabe, told several of his highest ranking managers of the Bureau they should consider themselves possible witnesses in any investigation into whether President Trump engaged in obstruction of justice. Many grand juries over many years have heard many FBI agents testify as investigators only, presenting their findings as investigators to the grand jury. They have never heard high-ranking managers of the FBI testify as witnesses to a possible crime committed by the President of the United States. Usually, the target of an investigation testifies last to a grand jury. By that time, the grand jury knows more about the case than the witness does. President Trump, when he testifies, will be wondering what all those high-ranking managers at the FBI told this grand jury. Donald Trump will be alone in that room. This is unlike anything else you ever go through as a possible witness or defendant in a criminal investigation, alone in the room. No lawyers, no Trump lawyers will be allowed in that grand jury room. Donald Trump will be in that room alone. No one can help Donald Trump in that room. It is unlike any room he's ever been in in his life, and in that room, all alone, Donald Trump may have to make a choice, a historic choice. He may on the advice of his lawyers, have to become the first president in history who takes the Fifth Amendment when he testifies to a grand jury. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.